Good day, eh? welcome back. We are back on the Raspberry Pi 4. We're doing another install of uh, Lazarus. And uh, so let's just dive into it and uh, get things going. It's going to be a lot of fun. Uh, it's a couple of quick commands and then you can be programming in Pascal if you want to. Uh, I first started programming in Pascal uh, back in 1990 seven or 98 so it's been a while for me i'm kind of interested to see how it's changed so i've uh, dusted off my books and and got all my notes and uh, i want to check it out see if i still remember uh, how to write a simple program but for today we're going to go ahead we're going to go and uh, get that installed and then we will maybe next week or the week after uh, I'm going to have a project on the Raspberry Pi uh, model 1B uh, which requires me to write a program in Pascal. Unfortunately the board that I have for the Pi 1, it was the lightest weight IDE I could get on the Pi 1. Just to play around and get my feet wet again, I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to get it installed on the Raspberry Pi 4. And uh, then, yeah, I'm going to use it to play around with uh, over the next week or two here. And then get my project going on the Raspberry Pi 1. So, let's head over to the computer right here. And uh, let's get that installed. So, the first thing we're going to do is press that Control, Alt, and T to bring up the terminal. And then we're going to go sudo apt get install fpc. So this is free Pascal. Now you can, I do believe, open up um, a, a program for it, but right now I don't want to play with FPC. I want Lazarus installed, but you need to install this first. So that's what we're going to do. I'm going to go ahead, I'm going to hit enter and allow that to install a lot of stuff. So like I said, it was uh, back in 98 when I first started uh, programming in Pascal. I absolutely loved it. It got me interested in uh, programming in other languages. And uh, I was pretty sad when it kind of disappeared after I finished grade 12. Um, it seems no, nobody really was using it so I didn't really have any use for it at the time but over the years I find myself playing with it uh, here and there and uh, now I can install it on the Raspberry Pi and continue to play with it some more uh, as I did find it to be a really fun language to learn and it was uh, definitely not the hardest one out of them to learn so if you're looking for something just to get uh, interested into programming uh, but you want it to have that bigger IDE feel uh, before stepping into other languages, I would suggest it. But uh, yeah, it's definitely one you can get results to happen fairly quick and you don't need a lot to do it. So we're just going to let this guy finish up here. Now, while this is installing, make sure you hit that like button. Make sure you hit that subscribe button. Every uh, little bit helps, so I appreciate everyone that has subscribed to the channel so far. Uh, you guys have been wonderful. I love the comments that uh, I get, uh, the questions, the ideas that I get from you guys. And as always, I'm not an expert in the Raspberry Pi. I'm just a guy that loves to play with it. I have a little bit of experience with other... Uh, programming languages and electronics so it just seemed like a really nice fit for me it was just a mold or a mesh of all the worlds combined that I enjoy playing around in so to me it was uh, a no-brainer so back to the install and we're done okay so that forget it I we came back and it was just finished so now that we have that completely installed, we're just going to go sudo apt get install Lazarus. I think that's it. Yep, that's the right one. It's 
So it's a fairly big install between the two of them. Uh, so make sure you have at least a couple gigs of space on your micro SD card or on your hard drive uh, to be able to install it uh, and get everything going because you don't want to go to start to install it and find out you don't have enough room as I did on the Raspberry Pi 1 which I only had an 8 gig uh, card in and I quickly realized I had no room and I had to wipe out a ton of things uh, a few things I, I didn't want to but I just backed it up with the uh, sync thing onto my main PC so whenever I want I can just drag it back over and away I go so not a big deal there and there we go so now we can exit out of here and then under programming we should have Lazarus 2.0.0 I do believe on the Pi 1 it was 1.6.3 I could be wrong uh, I'll have to double check that but I do believe it was so if we get a newer version on the Pi 4 I am all for it so we're gonna go ahead and launch that guy there it's gonna ask where everything is and uh, for the most part you can just click on start IDE I do believe I do believe I had that happen on a previous install let me close out yeah there we go so that is it now I do believe this form here does not run properly uh, which is fine because I don't want this one but I'm gonna try it now see if it'll compile see if it gives some errors but uh, I do believe it will yeah there we go here so that's fine uh, not the end of the world so I'm just gonna minimize that stop this guy well, I was going to go through a couple examples with you, uh, but we're not going to do that today. I think that's long enough now. So, uh, for now, uh, if you want to see a follow-up video to this, let me know in the comments below. We'll go over a few tutorials and uh, just play around with some really simple uh, programs on here. From when I was younger, back in the late 90s there, the IDE was not this fancy. Uh, there was a lot less involved. Uh, so this is going to take me a little bit to get used to. I've played with it a little bit. I've gotten programs to run, but I haven't gone into every tab to see what everything is. So I'm learning it just as much as, well, you would be, if it's your first time. Uh, this is a cross-platform IDE, I do believe. So uh, make sure to check out their website, find out more information, uh, and then you can uh, run it on your Raspberry Pi, your Mac, your Linux, your Windows uh, computer, whatever you want. Uh, but it's just a fun language to kind of play around with and uh, make some cool things happen so with that being said thank you for watching everyone you have a wonderful day a wonderful week and we'll see you next time take care eh